Hey, what's up everybody, Z here. Um, I apologize that I haven't uploaded a video for a while. Um, just because some health issue and, um, and other things. Um, yeah, as you can see, my tank is different now because I actually downsized. Uh, that's also the reason why I haven't uploaded a video for a while. Um, I actually downsized the belt uh, about a couple months ago. So this tank is pretty much running about a couple months. Um, yeah, as if you see, there's no tank in this side of my room. Um, so yeah, um, this is the tank where I have now. It's a, I think it's, I believe it's a 65 gallon. Um, it's, I believe it's the same size of reefer, Resty reefer 250. As you can see, I transferred some of the old coral over um, namely some SPS and also lot, uh, all the torch coral. So uh, I didn't I didn't sell any of the torch, uh, but I did get rid of uh, a lot of large SPS corals, uh, SPS colonies, uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the progress so far. Um, of course, I used some of the old media media from the 150 gallon. So this tank didn't really go through any of the cycle. It, it didn't have any ugly face at all. So it's pretty much just um, just going uh, right away. Uh, however, some SPS did uh, kind of uh, affect it, uh, namely this is a, a fox flame. Um, I really lost essentially all the yellow tips, uh, but it's recovering. So, so far so good. Uh, I didn't have any loss in any of the corals, so every every coral is doing fine now. Uh, but they did like go through some of the transition phase, like you know losing some of the colors. But now uh, they are just slowly coming back. Uh, and uh, yeah, so as you may know, my 150 old tank was using T5, but uh, right now this tank is all LEDs. Um, I just transferred some old LED over, um, like two Hydro 26 HD and one uh, Radeon XR15. And also I, I added the uh, the reef gripe bars. Um, so I purchased the uh, the combo one, um, I think it's for XR30, um, but I just laid it horizontally. Um, so so it actually acting like a 30 inch bar, uh, but it's like two 15 inches. Um, Right now, we're just using, I'm just feeding pellets, and also I added some uh, reef roids in the auto feeder, uh, just simply because of the sky. Um, this is kind of, I, I believe, it's blueberry uh, coconia. It's not a photosynthetic one, a photosynthetic coral. So I need you win. Well, I need to keep it low light, so preventing algae from growing, and hopefully it getting some nutrition from the uh, reef roids. Um, I feel like eight times a day, so yeah, it's pretty much um, about the feeding. Uh, clam's doing great. Um, I kind of worried uh, about the clam uh, when I started doing the transition, but uh, now right now it looks uh, it looks pretty fun. Um, as you can see, the orange passion. Of course, I kept, I kept my uh, orange passion and also World Disney, but they are not really coloring up right now. Uh, especially the Walt Disney lost its rainbow color right now. It's kind of pale yellow green But uh, it's slowly getting back uh, Hopefully it can uh, cut up pretty, pretty much soon. Not sure if it's affected by you no know, no lighting change um, So we'll see um, Some other corals might be affected. I believe it's because of lighting change uh, since they used to T5 um, but uh, um, some of the corals are starting to grow, uh, to encrust pretty much. As you can see, I kind of also transitioned some of the uh, encrusting corals on the wall. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the quick update about the corals. I'm going to do uh, some following videos about the setup. Uh, of course, and we're going to go detail into lighting and also the filtration of the tank. So that's pretty much the setup, I have all the uh, cables here, it's kind of a mess, but uh, I really don't know where to hide it. Um, 
yeah and then here's my uh, battery backup looks pretty clean from this side so I don't really uh, question or annoyed uh, this side is pretty good so I left the water like the wave makers all in the back so I can enjoy the side view uh, especially this view it's pretty awesome um, because I have some coral stu stuck in the back uh, since the tank is pretty small and uh, I can't really you know hard, it's hard for me to fill all those coral in um, when I first transitioned over it almost looked like the, a kind of 40 ground tank already uh, it's not really like a new tank um, yeah so that's pretty much about it um, I'm happy that this tank didn't have uh, ugly face there's no algae whatsoever growing so pretty happy with that as fish I kind of got rid of um, some of the larger fish namely uh, blue tan uh, and also the purple tan I just um, uh, moved the uh, the yellow tan over from my frag tank and I kind of turned on my frag tan this is my kind of only fish tank right now um, and I kind of got rid of all the corals in the frag tank and um, yeah I'm, I still have some corals need to get rid of it and then we just carry toward and some corals on the bottom uh, but um, yeah just just um, just right now just just put it in there just make sure uh, the sandbag still can grow SPS um, yeah this carry tour is doing pretty good so yeah, I'm not really worried about the lighting right now uh, right now it's just you know uh, everything's doing pretty good all the fish is fine uh, they're enjoying the eight feedings today um, yeah um, next time we're gonna open up the uh, the carbonet see what's the filtration like so I customize my uh, sump I just essentially built the sump myself and um, and you know just kept some old equipment from the 150 um, yeah um, alrighty just quick update thanks for watching um, see you next time